people who lost their job due to this crisis what is your story? I haven't been laid off, but I answer for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and we are having so many calls where someone is thinking about killing themselves because they were laid off. It's absolutely awful. I have no answers for these people, and I wish I had the power to provide for them. My experience is pretty unique. In a nutshell, my wife and I live in New Zealand and had planned a two-year working visa in Toronto. We were supposed to leave in April, so we had obviously already handed in our notices of resignation to our bosses. Long story short, Canada shut its borders and my boss has already hired my replacement. As a side note, they shut the borders on my birthday. Oh wow, that just ruined the whole two-year plan. Good luck. If you are in the UK, the major supermarkets are on a recruitment drive with a fast turnaround of getting people in position. I know this isn't a story about losing a job but hopefully this helps someone coming to this thread. I'm in the state of Ohio in the US and I'm seeing a lot of those opportunities too. Yeah, I just got hired last week but I think that my first work day isn't gonna happen. That sucks, be strong buddy. I'm glad I'm still a student and was only working part time at Starbucks. Honestly wouldn't be sure what to do if I'm working full time and got laid off. I started two weeks ago as a software developer. I'm already working remotely, but since I don't have people nearby I have to rely on learning through video and text chat. Work's been hard. Yeah, working from home and being new is honestly very stressful. That's what I'm worried about for my girlfriend. She got hired before everything hit the fan but her start date is in like 10 days so I'm worried they might delay that. Thankfully it's a position that's mostly remote and has to do with insurance claims so maybe she'll be good. My wife and I both work for insurance companies. Can confirm she will be alright granted it is a well established company. It's a subsidiary of HCA so definitely a solid company. Thanks for the reassurance though that helps, hope you and your wife get through this all smoothly. Construction. The whole construction site was laid off, and with the way things are going, the company owner thinks it'll be at least a year before they consider hiring me back. Started three months ago, and that it's at least 50 other people affected, just for this site. The company had several other sites that they laid off employees to. I'm just lucky I'm still living with my parents, and dad works as online IT for the general public, so he's nice and busy. Wow, I wasn't expecting construction to be an industry hit this soon from this. All trades are going to be hit by this one way or another. I'm a plumber who mostly does residential service calls and people haven't been calling unless they have an emergency that needs to be taken care of. Luckily I work for a family company just myself, my dad and my brother, and we've just been referring potential customers to other businesses who are still working. My dad's in his 60s and with the small amount of overhead that he has he figures it's better to be safe for a couple weeks since he knows all of us are going to be okay financially if we miss work for a couple weeks. I was joking with my wife about this but I wonder how much truth there is to it, people are going to be trying to flush all sorts of non-TP over the next few weeks. Maybe plumbers will be in high demand. I'm gonna take this opportunity to make a PSA. Do not, under any circumstance, flush anything that is not toilet paper or something that comes out of your body. As gross as it is. If you need to resort to using paper towels, baby wipes, napkins etc to complete your business put it in a plastic bag, tie it off and put it in the trash. Your pipes will thank you. I got a call congratulating me on getting a job two days before a hiring freeze went into place at the university I applied to. I never saw my contract, nor do I have any work. Edit, thank you for the gold. 
I wish it had been on a cheerier post. We're in this together and we'll get through it together, a step at a time. Look after one another. Be considerate, and be kind to yourselves. Here's hoping this blows over sooner rather than later. Wow, sounds familiar. Had a job but within 20 minutes I found out that A. I had won a large regional company award. B. Congrats, being furloughed with no pay and no guarantee of a job at the end of it. Well that the escalated quickly. I haven't lost my job, but my small software company instituted 30% pay cut across the board. They say it'll be re-evaluated every month. Clients keep cancelling or postponing projects. So I'm good this month, but could easily lose it next month. I'm just happy they decided to cut pay instead of fire 30% of the workforce, so everyone can keep their health coverage. That and I'm not sure I wouldn't have been part of that 30%. Having the same concerns here. Dev for a large software shop exclusively serving the auto sales industry. If we have to shelter in place for a few months and nobody buys cars, our cash flow is going to disappear. Lots of people out of work, thousands. Might be a good idea to look for remote work in the medical industry, before every dev that's been laid off in April is competing. Also remote work companies will be in high demand, providing tele-something services, and probably ISPs as their oversubscribed customer base suddenly using services 24-7 is going to overwhelm them. Maybe cloud, auto scaling experience would be good here. I was laid off from my five-year graphic design job, working for a screen printing and promotional products company. About half of our business involves schools, sports, and events. Obviously none of that is happening currently, so our business has stagnated. They are going to try to operate with a skeleton crew for the next couple months. The hope is to bring everyone back eventually, but I'm not optimistic. Solidarity. I'm a web developer, pretty much the same industry. Fabric decor, projection screens, giant shade structures, etc. I'm optimistic things will bounce back eventually, and I trust my CEO that I will be called back when that happens, he's always been extremely good to all of the employees, and we're good friends at this point, but I'm not optimistic that it'll happen within the next few months. Yeah, it's tough. The demand will definitely be back eventually, just waiting all this out will suck. If anything, it sounds like we both will have great references if something else surfaces. Good luck. Not me, but my wife has been told that basically we'll call you if we need you, and they don't really need anyone tbh. She hasn't worked a minute since the 13th. And my sister was a bartender at an arcade, so she's totally fucked. She's been laid off with the promise of reinstatement when they reopen. It's almost worse to be left in limbo like this than it is just to be fired outright. That's how they both feel. Wife works at a bookstore, which don't have great futures anyway, and sister works for a local business. They both have no idea what's going to happen, if their jobs are going to exist when this is all over. I'm scared for them, can't imagine how they feel. Considering it's a local business, I feel like their bosses don't even know what's going to happen. Nope, I can only imagine their panic. The arcade my sis is in is a huge attraction in her town, everyone goes there. I don't know the guy who owns it, but I do know that he just went from making a metric fuckload of money to absolutely zero. And he's still paying the rent on it, and he lives in a very expensive town. Yeah, everyone is fucked in that situation. It's rough here in Seattle, not only were all our music performances cancelled, the locally owned small businesses that are our best venues are in serious jeopardy. The pub I play in weekly was able to sell their existing stock and beer as takeout and crowler fills, 
but the bookstore that has been the hub of trad music in Seattle. In critical need of donations. Even the Portland defining bookstore pals might not return. Awful, awful times. Many of my musician friends are using live streams and an online tip jar to help, but what do businesses that have products they can't sell do? There's not much they can provide digitally. Can't download a sandwich. I'd download a sandwich. I'd also probably download a car. Just lost it about an hour ago. I'm a restaurant manager and they called me and told me to turn in my keys by the end of the day. I'm in quarantine and can't. They are sending me a UPS box so I can send in my keys and told me to file for unemployment. Never expected this to happen to me. I'm in shock I what I'm going to do. I wonder if it's temporary so you can get unemployment and then they'll hire you back later on? I know of a place that can't afford to stay open but is letting people pick if they want to be laid off or fired, hoping people can gain the unemployment better that way. I know Georgia has lifted a lot of the requirements and the businesses that are essentially firing the employees, even temporarily, file on behalf of the employees and they'll receive unemployment. No gaming the system or anything, if you lost your source of income due to the virus you're guaranteed temporary unemployment. Why would anyone pick getting fired? Unemployment may be different? I'm not sure it is but I think the point is the owner isn't, either. He's just telling people to start the process and he'll sign whatever helps. Small business owner here, cocktail lounge. This is what I told my team, I've never gone through this and I don't know how it works. All I know is I can't pay them, and may be bankrupt in a few months, as this is not going to just blow over. So whatever actions they choose, if they want me to formally fire slash lay off slash hug them they get to choose. That choice is about the only thing I can give them, besides some of the leftover snacks and booze. Ed, the hugging bit is a joke, I didn't even get to shake their hands as they've trickled through the door to chat and pick stuff up. Really hate this virus. One of the biggest clients we have, my fiancé and I do web design plus marketing, is a restaurant. They laid off a huge segment of their workers so they could immediately collect unemployment. Offered free packs of food for their families too. Now, if they could just figure out how to give us their Grubhub login, that would be nice. Ed, meant to say, so sorry to hear about this. It just sucks all around. My job as barista was shut down for safety and because nobody is coming in, anyway. And my summer job, teaching kids how to swim at a sleepaway camp, is cancelled because the comp decided not to open. While I'm not in danger of losing my house or starving, I am now unable to afford to continue going to college next semester. Ed, somebody gave me gold. I don't actually know what that means since I'm new to Reddit, but I hope whoever gave it, and the rest of y'all, are safe and healthy. That's tough, be strong and keep studying until everything normalizes. Thank you. I'm just glad I'm safe and healthy. A semester off won't kill me, after all. I'm a substitute teacher. If you are aware that most schools are closing if they haven't already, then that should explain why all subs are now effectively unemployed. It's unlikely that schools will return during this situation, so yes, thousands of people are out of work just from that alone. Subs don't make salary, so any employee who is hourly or paid by day now needs to scramble. Ed, because so many people are unsure whether they should file for unemployment or not and are in a similar situation, being a substitute or a different employee that was hourly or a position that was cut due to our current circumstances, please do. You absolutely can and should file for unemployment. It may take some time with the influx of applications, but this situation is what that government service is for. 
I extend my best wishes to everyone and their friends and families. I hope you all stay healthy and hold on to hope. Be smart and safe. My district is paying hourly workers for what they would have worked. They're looking at what they usually make to help make a decision as to the amount you get on each check. They just approved it this week. I have family in the same boat, except here their shitty school district has opted to not pay their hourly workers at all. Considering they are fully funded by the state and local property taxes, their choice is especially bullshit. I was laid off indefinitely from two different hourly paying line cooking jobs on Monday till the 50 hours combined week. I helped clean out one of the restaurants Wednesday. We discarded a lot of stuff. I helped clean out all of the coolers and throw away a lot of prepped food that people didn't apostrophe t slash couldn't take home. Employees were encouraged to take what they wanted, produce, dairy, meat etc. The place is almost completely empty, it's surreal. My spouse was laid off indefinitely Wednesday. She manages a restaurant and is salaried with benefits, 50 hours slash week. She was told that management will not be paid until the place reopens. Our family currently has no work or income. We have a young child. These are very uncertain times, edit slash update, we are healthy and staying happy, lots of extra time to play with the kiddo we have food, water and other save resources. We are exploring unemployment insurance and a couple of other options. Thanks for all of the love, this story could be the same for millions right now. Take care of your family and neighbors, try to spend and shop local. We get past this together. <laughs> for the young child part, that happened to me after 9-11. WIC, Medicaid for the kid, unemployment benefits. Now is the time to pursue them all. They were a lifesaver for me. You've been paying into this your entire working career via unemployment insurance deductions, so don't feel guilty about using what's available. Snap to and get in contact with you local food bank. I'm sure there is a lot of competition so the sooner the better. I went to a food bank the other day. My husband's store hasn't closed yet but it's being discussed and this is a small town so the food bank is only open once a month. We got three whole frozen chickens. For a family of three. Among other things. It will definitely help. I felt embarrassed about going, but it would be worse to scramble to feed my two year old. And I'm pregnant and having difficulty with weight gain, so rationing isn't practical for me, either. Don't feel embarrassed those services are there for a reason. Just remember to give back down the line when things are less tough. We're all in this together. In Ireland this is our motto, we are in it together. I see amazing community spirit and pulling together to get through this. Proud to be Irish. Proud to be human. Our family currently has no work or income. We have a young child. These are very uncertain times. Fuck, that is horrible. This will be a reality for millions. I too haven't worked since Monday with no timeline for when or if I'll start back up again. My mom works in vacation rentals doing housekeeping, she's 6'1", diabetic and has COPD, and lives in a state that has mandatory shutdown of all non-essential businesses. When she was informed they'd be laying people off, but also staying open, she told them she's afraid of getting coronavirus and they laid her off so she could collect unemployment and continue to pay her bills while staying home safe. They wanted a co-worker and I'd reduce her hours to half each, because they could only afford one of us and didn't want to make a redundancy. In the end, I took the redundancy. I'm 21 and live at home, meals provided. My co-worker is a 30 years slash show homeowner with bills and an unemployed girlfriend. Him losing half his income for me seemed wrong. Better me than him. 
That's the kind of kindness that will get us through this. Wishing you all the best when this thing is over. Thank you. You too. I was in the middle of moving out of my abusive father's house when this happened and they cancelled my interview for my transfer. I tried sticking it out because the only place I could go indefinitely is my boyfriend's a flight away, still domestic, just another state. I have been shamed to no end about how selfish and gross I am for even stepping outside my house for groceries, so I literally told no one I'm leaving. Do I want to travel? No, absolutely not. But staying with an abuser for two more months will take such a toll on my mental and physical health that it's necessary for me. The fact that people want to shame me without knowing my situation has been awful and I wish people practiced more of this kindness. I worked at Hyatt. I was hired as an intern fresh out of college for a year. Most of Hyatt's interns were actually internationals from Europe. Hyatt paid us minimum wage which is crazy once you learn how expensive NYC is. Two months ago they recently hired a guy from the Netherlands and just two weeks ago another girl also from the Netherlands have just moved to NYC for this internship and had moved to her apartment just last week. Two days ago HR called us for a meeting and said defective Monday we were no longer employed by Hyatt. They refused to pay us any of our sick or personal days which I had seven days worth. For the interns that have recently moved to NYCHR basically said you're on your own not our problem nothing we can do to help. So. Being laid off is one thing but having the HR director tell us that they were not intending and paying any of our sick days, or personal days was a slap in the face and a massive dick move. I had intended to work till Saturday which was my last schedule day. Since they were not paying my sick days I just called off my last three days so I could at least get three sick days paid. Hyatt saying is we care for people so they can be their best they really showed their true colors and I would never work for Hyatt or stay in any of their property for as long as I live. Edit, didn't expect this to blow up. Just a few things to mention. I'm not trying to cause a riot of any sort. I'm getting paid my accrued vacation only. As some have mentioned, and why doesn't require for sick days to be paid so I've come to terms with that. Also this was just my experience. I'm not encouraging slash discouraging the use of Hyatt. Don't let this post be the make it or break it on whether or not you stay at Hyatt. This was just me venting. For the people that have PM me asking if I'm okay thanks. But I will be alright. Good night everyone. Hyatt employees in Vancouver went on strike last year. They sound like a really shitty company to work for. Tell the story on our travel. Redditors must stick together. From your story alone, I will avoid hiates in my travels. Draw predators and replace it with any decent human being with an ounce of empathy. F. CK will never stay in the Hyatt again. I was a bartender. The bars and restaurants were shut down. I was actually relieved because, not gonna lie, I was afraid of dealing with so many people and all the glasses. People would have just kept coming too if the state hadn't shut us down. You're right. No doubt they would have kept coming in. Our governor just scolded the community because while the bars and restaurants were closed as of Monday, he stated that he didn't want social gatherings of more than 50 people. So of course, there is a park, playground area in a part of town that actually has a higher concentration of virus confirmations. And just yesterday all of these families took their kids to this park. People stated there were probably 200 plus cars in the parking lot and tons of children and adults hanging out together. The state police eventually shut it down. However, it caused the governor to now take more drastic actions and ended up closing other facilities that were still open to the public. And now, 
only groups of 10 or less allowed and he's enforcing this rule by law now. He was visibly pissed. I'm sitting in a meeting right now, waiting to get fired. The VP is running late. So that's cool. Edit, they gave us basic info but are talking to everyone individually. So who knows still? Edit 2, laid off. They can't fire you if you fire them first and take their job. You won't believe this one secret tip to advancing your career that CEOs don't want you to hear. Classical musician here. Every orchestra had to cancel concerts for the next eight weeks. Unsure if any of the concerts will be rescheduled. Many orchestras are waiting to see if the Act of God clause will be applied. If that is the case, musicians will not be paid. Most summer orchestras are still programmed but there is high chance will be shut down as well. Edit in the US. NOLA shut down all the bars there. There are a lot of working class jazz musicians that were already living hand to mouth. I'm worried for them and hope the government does come through and give adults $1,000 to $3,000. It could be life or death for some people in terms of nutrition. I'm a server. I haven't worked since the 14th, but was officially laid off on the 18th. Where I am, temporary layoff is only 60 days. If we are not back by then, we lose our jobs permanently. It couldn't have come at a worse time since we have new management and there's been some murmurs about getting new staff. I was about to lose my apartment, unrelated, but my landlord phoned me up to let me know that he is no longer making me leave and not to worry about April rent. He also gave me $150 to go buy groceries. He's a bro. I'm trying to get through to I, which is all online right now, but the site keeps crashing so I'm unable to make a claim right now. I'm trying to get through to I, which is all online right now, but the site keeps crashing so I'm unable to make a claim right now. Try getting up in the middle of the night where you are, like 3 am, and try then. The web traffic will be lower. Depends on the eyesight and what state. And PA for bi-weekly claims it's some mad window like 6 am 9 30 pm. I've been laid off all winter because I'm a seasonal construction worker and I just got email that we are not to return next Monday, first day back. I myself am worried because my six months is up in April. Jesus, your landlord is a hero. My landlord would have helped me pack my bags. And then build you for the time. Edit, thanks for the silver kind stranger. I won't bill you for my time. And charged you for the paper the bill was printed on. And charged you to leave the house. And keep the toilet paper. I told my landlord my wife and I have been quarantined, and asked if there's a way I can pay her later. She kept avoiding giving me an answer. I asked again, and she reminded me that it's $25 less if we pay 5 days early, and also added in how much of a blessing it was. Actually said that. I knew she'd probably be that way, but calling that a blessing really made her a heartless witch in my head. Can't wait till my lease is over. This is the absolute worst. I proactively reached out to my tenant and told her to let me know if she's at all financially impacted by this. She has three children and the last thing she needs to worry about is keeping a roof over their head. I wish more people can be like Ops Landlord. Just asinine. I am a landlord. I'm just saying that up front. Take care of you and your wife first. Buy your food and your meds, feed your pets. I don't know where you live but many states have placed a moratorium on evictions and foreclosures. I live in CA and right now you cannot even file to evict until May 31st at the earliest. Everyone is scared right now. We are all watching the material part of our lives slip through our fingers. Everyone is frightened including landlords. 
Your landlord is worried about her own problems right now. She has bills to pay and markers to cover. She believes that if she puts pressure on you, or implies that there is not going to be any grace shown, that you will somehow cough up the rent on April 1st. I have reached out to my own tenant. He knows he will always have a place here, he's a great tenant and I would not evict him or ask him to leave. He has a job for now, but who knows how long that will last. I am self-employed, not as an investor, landlord, my rental is a tiny adieu on my property, and right now business is dead in the water. Unemployment doesn't pay much but it's better than a sharp stick in the eye, which is what all the self-employed people are getting right now. This is going to work itself out. Landlords are going to have to come to grips with the reality that we are all losing our fiscal ass right now and they are not exempt. So take care of yourself first. Feed yourself. Take care of your needs. If you can pay something in rent, pay it your landlady needs money too. But if you cannot just know that this will keep. The world isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This will work itself out in time. Be well. <laughs> Manager at a movie theater. I already saw it coming so it wasn't that shocking to hear. We were only seeing about 200 people a weekday down from our average of 900. Got called in by the GM and we were told that we were closing indefinitely. It's looking like 6-12 weeks. I'm fortunate enough to have enough money saved that it isn't really an issue for me but it really upset me knowing that a lot of the people who work in the building have no other source of income and scrap by with their paychecks. Fingers crossed it's 6 weeks. Maybe less. I just finished my training as a flight attendant for a major European airline. It's been a dream of mine and I have been putting my love and energy into this training for the past months. I'm in Cancun right now and it's bittersweet because it's absolutely beautiful here, but at the same time this was my last training flight, I'm now a fully trained flight attendant and yet no one knows when me and my other new colleagues will actually be getting our work contract since the airline industry is suffering a lot right now. I think I will cry when landing back in Frankfurt tonight, because I don't know when will be my next flight. But I will put on a brave face and genuine smile for our passengers, at least I will do my best. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about 3 minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes, apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician, where they let go of four techs that day cause of decreasing business. They're letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there, and is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband that when business picks back up, they might call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully, I work in the lab of a hospital, so my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband that we'll get through it, but I know it's taking a toll on him. I was a server looking for a new job before this all began. I got a job secured at the zoo, an amazing dream job for me and my personality, but the day before I started at the zoo, they shut it down for the coronavirus fears. Then they shut down my serving job too. Didn't lose my job, but I was in the middle of searching for a new one, obviously now it's getting next to impossible to find a job, and I'm not eligible for EI. I was supposed to see my doctor yesterday, hoping to be cleared to go back to work. I had rotator cuff surgery two months ago. Appointment was cancelled, so I can't go back without the paperwork. Super sucks cues I have $100 to my name. With something like that, I would ask your employer if they make an exception for extenuating circumstances or call the doctor and see if he can give you any kind of note. I left a message for the doctor yesterday. I work a labor job. 
boss already said I'll need paperwork. Liability issues. <laughs> Last hired first fired. The owner loves me but she couldn't keep us all on, so it was only fair. My side gig is dog walking, which is fucking slow BC no one's leaving their houses these days. God bless the biddy whose dogs I walk every day. I have a friend whose job is walking and running dogs. She's also seeing her gigs disappear, which is tough on her. Today, we're having a nasty snowstorm, so the gigs she would have today and tomorrow have also disappeared. My girlfriend works for Marriott and basically lost her job. They told her they'll call her when they need the staff again. She tried to apply for unemployment and was denied because Marriott has her as an employee who works zero hours. So for the time being I'm taking over her financial responsibilities. Most unemployment applications are denied on the first request. Appeal it and she will likely be approved. Cutting hours are valid grounds for unemployment. I have just read that 18% of US workers have lost jobs or hours. I would guess it's way more than that. We are one of the few hotels still open in the area and have everyone down to 1-3 days. Housekeeping only a couple days a week for the few people staying. I have 14 shifts instead of 28 for 6 shuttle drivers. 14 shifts for 5 front desk, with me being required to take some of the shifts since there is no way to rationalize me being there at the same time as them, but having to complete higher level tasks. Walls are 80% closed, stores and restaurants slowly closing down. There is absolutely no way to live in this expensive area on those hours. $1,000 bailout doesn't touch average rent, much less other bills. Shit's bad. Edit, I'll add on. Restaurant is closed. Chef, cooks, dishwashers, bartenders, servers have zero hours. Training is cancelled. All our new hires to prepare for busy season are cut. If you don't have a different job, you won't, by the time we need you will bring you back. Sales is furloughed. There is no one really for them to sell to. Banquets is dead. One of the most profitable semi-line level jobs in this area. I know people who work hard for a handful of big convention hotels and clear 120k. No banquets. Anywhere. I will say ownership has taken two actions other hotels in the area are not. You can use PTO, if you have it. Unfortunately, most of my employees only have a couple days worth. They will pay your employee cost of insurance if you have zero hours. This is huge. Last recession people with one two days had their entire paycheck go to benefit costs, or even ended up owing the company money when they came back. Imagine finally having hours and $1,000 going to back pay your benefits. I had been unemployed for over two months, with countless applications and rejections. I finally landed a job at a record storing facility, good hours, good pay. Technically it was a casual job but it was essentially full time, there was work for me for over a year. The company whose records I was to be taking care of cancelled the job and I was back out of work after five and a half days. <laughs> Wife and I both work in the restaurant industry. Both laid off unpaid indefinitely. She's a type 1, insulin dependent, diabetic, and we've got two young kids. We have no idea what we are going to do. Insulin and supplies were already killing us. The thought of not being able to get her insulin is horrifying. Ed, thank you so much for the kind words and advice. We are applying for Medicaid and SNAP tomorrow and I'll be looking into what the insulin and pump supply manufacturers can do to help. We expected to go to work the last couple days. They decided to close the doors, and I can't blame them. It just sucks. It just sucks that I can't even go out to find a job. 
a couple of incredible Redditors are going to Venmo us a few bucks to get by and we are beyond thankful. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay home if you can. I'm a nurse. Had a kidney transplant 7 months ago. Returned to work 4 months ago. Left work on Monday and haven't been back since. A paycheck isn't worth risking my best friend's gift. Edit, my first gold? For staying home from work. Mall thank you kind neighbor and friends. Anyone else please donate instead. My wife, the real bad ass nurse BC she is currently working the L and D unit, and I love donating to animal charities and we do medical mission trips in Peru with the dream team at support our smiles link remember it's always darkest before the dawn. We're going to overcome this and be stronger for it. Edit 2, worth mentioning I haven't lost my job. Nurses and staff went to work for three days this week to clean and now non-elective surgeries have been cancelled. We'll see what happens. It's a surgery center and my bosses and the board, all doctors, have been beyond supportive throughout my transplant and now this pandemic. The blessing of having so many incredible people in my life has me in a never-ending state of gratitude and free from fear of the unknown. Reach out if you think I can help you. It's definitely not, you're doing the right thing. Self-employed but business is practically finished. I'm a few years into my clothing company and dropped out of university in June as things were growing rapidly. I made a massive order before the Chinese New Year where I paid a 50% deposit. Now obviously sales have hit a standstill, the GBP has crashed which means the order I pay for in USD has now become even more expensive and the remainder is to the start of next month. The absolute worst part is I just hired my first employee in December and then signed a warehouse lease in January so feel a tremendous amount of guilt as she's fresh out of university, I've had to sell my car to Webui and e-car to cover her for a few months at least while I move back in with my parents and try and go from there. I'm praying the government grant gets to me in time so I can try and salvage my order. Just gotta pick myself up from the bootstraps. I was, am a security guard for a nightclub which is obviously closed for now but I have a really cool boss, he's given all his employees the time off while still being paid cause the dude's super insane rich and he looks after everyone. Everyone is guaranteed their old position when we return. Thanks Gary you absolute legend you. Ed at a platinum, why? Go Gary. Didn't lose my job, but I think this comment belongs here. I own a business with 20 staff and told them that no one is getting laid if because we always make sure to have savings. Care more about the team than clawing back profits. Love working together. Are pivoting our business to get new customers. Believe we will come out stronger. Layoffs are sometimes necessary but companies need to do their best to take care of their own. Companies are made up of us and people. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. If you like our video please like, share and subscribe our channel. And write and comment how was the video, or if you have any suggestion. Thank you for watching.